Welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z, and this is a general love reading for all Aries for October 1st through the 8th of 2019. So this is this is your weekly love reading. Keep in mind these readings are just general. They're very, very general. So they may or may not resonate with you. If they do, feel free to thumbs up the video, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload videos because I do videos like throughout the month for each sign. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is just email me at pinkoratarot at gmail.com. I respond back to emails really quickly. So if you need a, a, um, a personal reading done quick, just email me. So Aries, let's get into your reading. You guys have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive with the Knight of Pentacles. So, I mean, some of you guys could be dealing with our earth sign, but um, maybe a Virgo. But with this, um, love yourself first and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like some of you guys um, have like a really good reputation when it comes towards like loving yourself. Like, people see that you have self-respect for yourself. And so, it's like it makes you romantically attractive to other people. I feel like this is, like, for singles. Or you could have a Knight of Pentacles that's coming towards you. Um, you know, they move. the Knight of Pentacles is, like, really slow. But, you know, it's a solid offer. It's someone that you can rely on. So, maybe this person is looking at you as someone who has self-respect for their self. Like, they love their self. So you guys also have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So with the eight of pentacles, so um, some of you guys could be done with a Capricorn or have like Capricorn somewhere in your chart. But with this, it's like, I feel like this is like work associated. So maybe you guys have maybe met someone at work, could be a Capricorn. But it's like you guys are having heart to heart conversations. But I feel like this, um, this connection um, happened at work, or it could be to where you and your partner, like this, is for someone who's in a committed relationship, or maybe you know dating someone, and you know it's getting pretty serious. Could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But I feel like um, there's like a heart to heart conversation. Um, between you and someone else about work. Maybe someone's working a lot. And so it's like someone wants to have a heart to heart conversation because, um, you know, maybe this person is, you know, someone feels neglected in a way because their partner is working a lot. So you also have you deserve love. You are lovable with the two of swords. So for some of you guys, it's like you could be dealing with two people and it's like you're at a stalemate. Um, and it's almost like someone's avoiding making a decision, but I feel like it could be between two people because the woman in this picture, she has like an arrow, but it's almost like she has like a, she kind of looks distressed a little bit or almost like she been, she's been hurt, but she still wants to find love. So some of you guys could be like trying to make a decision about, um, whether or not you want to stay single or be in a relationship or you could be trying to choose between two people but someone's like avoiding making this decision so you also have children your love life is being affected by children with the nine of cups so with this um i feel like this is for people who are in a committed relationship but i don't feel like children is affecting like someone's love life is being affected by children what it's not a cups i mean this is like some sort of wish fulfillment so maybe you and your partner it's like someone wants to have children but with this i don't feel like it's being affected it's just a like an addition to the relationship in a way especially with the nine of cups because this could be like some sort of wish fulfillment or like joy. So, 
So yeah, let's get into your tarot spread. So you have the um, Six of Swords. The Chariot. Excuse my Chariot card. It got really bent up. Um, and then you guys have the Moon card. The Magician. The Three of Wands. And the High Priestess. So um, with this... I'm getting like two things. So someone, maybe some of you guys have moved on from someone. It's like someone moved away um, from some sort of conflict. So maybe some some of you guys were dealing with someone that was like, you know, there was a lot of conflict. It's like you guys are moving on to calmer waters. It's like someone's definitely moving somewhere. And especially with the chariot card too. I mean, some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Excuse my um chariot card. So... Some of you guys could be done with a cancer, but what this is, is like movement. But for some of you guys, it's like someone's moving to like the unknown. They're moving somewhere where they're not really sure about. Some of you guys could be done with a cancer or a Pisces or someone with like cancer or Pisces in their chart. But I'm getting mostly like Pisces. Um, this person could have like a Pisces moon or something. Or you could have a Pisces moon. So, yeah, it just seems like someone's moving to like the unknown. So, for some of you guys, it's like you could um, be moving somewhere. It's like someone took action towards moving on or moving somewhere. So, I feel like this is for someone who was like, this could be for two different groups. This could be like for someone who's in a commitment, committed relationship or someone who's, who just met someone. Because it seems like someone's moving somewhere or they could just be traveling somewhere to someone that maybe they just met or this could be some type of, um, I don't have any type of like communication card here, but this could be someone that you were like interacting with, like from afar, especially with this three of wands here. This is like someone traveling or like going overseas somewhere. This is like someone from afar, or this could be someone that you're dealing with or someone could be watching you from afar. I don't have the page of source out right here, but this is like definitely almost like someone visiting someone that's far with this three of wands being underneath the chariot card. So some of you guys could be visiting a cancer from afar, but this person may be like overseas or like across the water. So just take that how it resonates. But it's almost like um, maybe someone's doing this secretly with the high priestess card and it could be to where someone's like um this could be like some sort of work situation too where someone um has to travel but it's almost like there's some sort of secret or like something's like unknown about this situation because we have the moon card and then the high priestess card um this could also be like a situation where so this could be you aries or the other person and we also have the the devil card being well it was at the bottom of the deck but i feel like this is like some sort of temptation This is definitely like some sort of temptation because it's almost like someone's doing something behind, maybe someone's doing something behind their partner's back with this traveling. Or this could be simply someone moving away from conflict. Like someone finally took the action to move away from conflict and toxic, um, like a toxic person basically or a toxic relationship. But it's almost like they're kind of fearful too with the moon card but this is like false fears and illusions it's just all in your head and there could, there could have also been some sort of deception too 
but for some of you guys it could be to where you just met someone and it's like this person lives far from afar and so you decide to move wherever they're at but then it's like there's some sort of secret this person may be like um keeping something from you or you're just doing it secretly so um for your angel answer card you guys have listened to your intuition so that just confirmed everything it's like someone needs to listen to their intuition about making this move or this traveling situation this is definitely like something dealing with travel and like temptation so it's like you need to listen to your intuition and we also have the high priestess card too so this is definitely confirming um maybe someone needs to listen to their you know just start trusting their intuition before they make this like move or taking action towards moving somewhere so yeah aries that is all the messages that i got hopefully these messages resonated with someone i hope this helps someone out in some way feel free to thumbs up the video leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos also if you would like to book a personal reading with me all you have to do is just email me at pink or tarot at gmail.com i respond back to emails really quickly so if you need a quick tarot reading i'll um be more than glad to give you one